Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is the city, Cornwall, Ontario. I work here. I carry a badge. The name's Friday. Joe Friday. It's Friday, January 9th, 2004. A blistering cold night in Cornwall. Over 130 people are gathered for the swearing-in ceremony of the new chief of police, Daniel C. Parkinson. In a brief speech, he talks about effective leadership, being prepared for a time such as this, meeting with personnel and other key players in the community. He mentions to a reporter that he can better implement some of his crime prevention and reduction ideas as the chief. My sources tell me that the chief started his career in policing in 1973 with the Mississauga Police Department and continued with Peel Regional Police until December 2003. He works in criminal investigations, fraud, and homicide, and is promoted to the rank of staff superintendent in charge of operations services. Over the next few years, he talks to anyone who will listen about his ideas, holding community consultation meetings, staff meetings, writing newsletters, revamping the police website, attending service club meetings, conducting radio, print, and television interviews. He becomes the honorary chair for many events. Parkinson quickly becomes a vital part of the local, provincial, and national community, spreading the crime prevention and reduction word, and all the while working his way to the position of President of the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police and a member of the National Crime Prevention Community Mobilization Program. According to Chief Parkinson, when it comes to crime, you need to get to the root of the problem, find out what causes it, and figure out what to do in order to deal with it. Crime doesn't happen randomly. The police and community have to work together to stop crime before it occurs. When people are actively involved in preventing crime, it will be tougher for criminals to commit crimes. There must be a commitment by police to prevent crime, he says. Police must change the way it does business. Traditionally, we want to know how many people were charged or how many crimes were solved, but our goal should be to reduce the number of people who are victimized by crime. To do this, he creates programs such as Mobile Community Watch, the Door Knock Program, and the Bar Check Program. He establishes a community police office in a high crime area that houses units such as media, public affairs, crime reduction and community partnership, and a youth services unit. He talks to the youth in the community and recognizes their needs. It's time for action, time to get to the root of the problems. He starts youth symposiums, an annual event with motivational speakers and concert-like presentations on healthy lifestyle choices. He holds fundraising events like Cops and Rockers video dances in order to open a second boys and girls club in the east end of the city. His theory? Stop the small stuff now and you'll prevent a lot of the bigger stuff down the road. You want just the facts? Here are the facts. Established East End Station, calls for service down 74% in that area, prostitution down 92%. Established Youth Services Unit, referrals down 10%, truancy down 81%. Youth crimes between 2004 and 2009, drug offenses down 34%, violent crimes down 38%, property crimes down 44%, other youth crime down 16%. Overall, between 2004 and 2009, arrests up 8.6%, break and enters down 58%. Between 2003 and 2009, auto theft down 44%. Well, ma'am, all I can tell you is the facts speak for themselves. Chief Daniel C. Parkinson lives, breathes, and knows crime prevention. Thanks for sharing the keys, Chief.